The Heart of Horsemanship Curriculum by Leslie Cook presents Hooves, Pasterns, Fetlocks, and Cannon Bones, Module 1, Video 2, as part of Horse Anatomy, Level 1. A horse has feet, of course, four of them, but we don't say feet. When we are talking about all four feet, we say hooves, and when we are talking about just one foot, we say hoof. A horse's hooves are made of keratin, which is exactly what our own fingernails and toenails are made of. The walls of the horse's hoof are very thick and strong. They are made to withstand and navigate all sorts of difficult terrain. Horses are widely used for all sorts of work and recreation, and it all relies on the strength of their hooves. Horses can wear shoes, too, because like our fingernails chip, so can their hooves. Many horses don't need shoes and go what we call barefoot. It all depends what the horse is used for, how their hooves hold up, and horse owner preference. Again, just like our own nails, the horse's hooves continue to grow. Wild horses can keep their hooves filed down on the rough ground and rocks they travel on. Domestic horses need farriers to maintain the length of their hooves. Horses need their hooves trimmed every six to eight weeks. A trained farrier knows exactly where to trim so it's not too far to cause the horse pain. This horse is very comfortable as it is getting its hoof trimmed. This is very satisfying so I will let you watch the farrier do this amazing work. If a horse has a shoe on, the shoe is removed, then the farrier will trim, file, and shape the hoof. Next, he'll clean up the shoe and nail it back onto the hoof or put a new shoe on. The hoof wall has no feeling, so this is how a farrier can use a special nail to put the shoe on. They need training on how to place the nail and get it to go the right direction to keep it in the non-feeling part of the hoof. This horse is not bothered at all and is quite comfortable. Each horseshoe gets three to four nails on each side and should stay secure for six to eight weeks. Horses do need to get used to this process, but it does not cause them pain. A favorite thing among horse lovers is the clip-clop of the hooves. I'm going to let you listen. Domestic horses need their hooves cleaned out. We will teach you more about that in our horse grooming and horse care needs videos. You know so much about hooves now. You know what they're made from, how strong they are, and how they are maintained. Now you'll learn about pasterns, fetlocks, and cannon bones. Pasterns are the longer straight section between the hoof and the round bone that look like our ankle bone, which we call the fetlock on the horse. I like to liken our own body parts to what they'd be on the horse. Our toes would be all the bones inside the hoof, with our toenails being the hoof wall. The long bones attached to our toes, called the metatarsals, would be the horse's pastern bones, and the talus, or our ankle bone, would be the horse's fetlock. I like to remember the word pastern by thinking of the word pasture. Horses use their pasterns to run through the pasture. Pasterns and fetlocks together can be very flexible and take on massive amounts of strain. Together with other parts of the legs, horses have incredible speed and agility. They can bend low, jump high, and use their force to run, jump, and kick. Their athleticism and power is really mesmerizing to watch and is something to respect. For a quick review, pasterns are the long bones from the hooves to the ankle bone, and the ankle bone is called the fetlock. Now, straight up from the fetlock is called the cannon bone. The horse has four pasterns, four fetlocks, and four cannon bones. 
Here is Timmy modeling his cute little legs. The long straight bones above the fetlock and below the knees and hocks are called the cannon bones. Even as a kid, I found this the easiest and most fun horse anatomy part to remember because the cannon bones are long and straight just like the barrel of a traditional cannon and the horse uses them to fire off. It's a fun visual. Look at Hart Horse Jersey firing off over these jumps. Great job. You learned about hooves, pasterns, fetlocks, and cannon bones. Look for our quizzes and ways to earn certificates and pins by showing us your knowledge. Also check out our curriculum activity box for horse anatomy. See you in the next video.